Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound, and today we have the uh, the Whatnot Coin Auction Preview. Uh, this is for June, whatever it is, 16th, uh, which is tomorrow, Friday. Uh, so we have a pretty nice large list of coins, and uh, check that out. No graded coins. We're doing a no graded coin special just for today. Not that I didn't want to put anything in there graded wise, but hey, let's uh, let's do something a little bit different. So we have a pretty large list of premium, raw, ungraded coins that might deserve grading. I don't know. That'll be completely up to the people that buy these um, wonderful type pieces. Uh, but I figure, hey, how about we offer more for maybe a little bit less? All right. Because um, the... Um, a lot of folks are under their impression that when a coin is graded, uh, traditionally they can command a much larger premium in the marketplace, and that just doesn't have to be the case. Of course, you know, we always should stick to the uh, buy the coin, not the holder kind of philosophy, uh, which I firmly believe in. And uh, yeah, you know, that's that's going to be a lot better for you in, your, uh, in the long run as far as enjoying numismatics. Uh, so we have today, uh, which not today, but tomorrow, June uh, 16th, 16th, right? And, uh, it's going to be, uh, one more show a week from tomorrow, uh, which is the June 23rd show. Uh, as you guys know, we will be doing the Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's officially called the Northeast Oklahoma coin show. Uh, it's the venue where a lot of the big YouTube channels, uh, are in attendance. They're in their fourth year of doing so. Uh, it's going to be at the Cox Business Center, a much larger venue than where it was before in Grove. Uh, this is going to be my first year here, so I hope to see some of you there. I know there's a number of you that's going to make the trek to Tulsa uh, for the event, and it's going to be um, uh, from Thursday, the 29th of June, going all the way to July 1st. Uh, I may or may not be there on that Saturday. We'll see. Uh, but I will be there Thursday and Friday, the 29th and 30th. Um, you know, just kind of pressing the flesh, getting to know people, talking with other content creators in the coin space. Um, you know, there's going to be guys like Rob Finds Treasure, Silver Seeker, and a whole bunch more. A lot of big guys are going to be there. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the Live Coin Q&A panel will be in attendance. Myself, Paula, Adam, Shannon, uh, even Eric will be there. Shay will be there. It's going to be a blockbuster. Um, but yeah, uh, so in commemoration for the Tulsa, Oklahoma Coin Show event, on my last WhatNot stream next week on the 23rd, I will be giving away four of these brand new 2023 Quad nine fine gold one gram rounds. And these are maple leaves. These are actually government issued maple leaves by the Royal Canadian Men. You can see Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see it. Uh, but they even still have the, uh, the awesome anti counterfeiting technology. They're going to have the original card with the serial number. Quad nine fine. These things are uh, very beautiful. And I'll be giving away four of these. Sorry, you can't even see my fingers. I'll be giving away four of these bad boys uh, for that show. So uh, hopefully you guys can make it. Uh, grab yourself a piece of gold. They look tiny, but they pack a punch, believe me. And it's always better to give a little piece of gold to a lot more people than one big chunky piece to one person. Because uh, I'd rather spread the love that way. Uh, but let's talk about tomorrow, because we can't skip over the June 16th Whatnot Coin Auction. Uh, so we do have giveaways tomorrow. So we do have another one of the 2005S Quarter Proof Sets. Uh, this one has California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, and West Virginia. These are always a popular item for the giveaways, complete with box and certificate. So rest assured, you're going to get a really nice presentation piece there. Uh, we also have a couple couple more pieces from probably one of the finest proof collections that I have ever come across. I bought a good deal of this gentleman's coins. 
that he had cherry picked over the course of the last 30 years. So he has picked out some of the best, finest, preferably deep cameo contrast coins. We got two of them to give away here. Uh, so these are two separate giveaways. We have a 73S. Look at the cameo and the clean fields. I didn't do anything to these. These weren't dipped or nothing like that. These are superb coins. You never know. These might grade out 69s or 70s. But these uh, these will be given away tomorrow. There's even a bicentennial. Another gorgeous coin right there. Again, these are clad, proof, half dollars. Very nice gems. So we got two of them there. And then we also have a quick little two-pack of 90% silver dimes. So we're going to give that away as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into the listings for tomorrow. All right. So we have about 35, 36 items. Again, they're all raw, ungraded, which should represent a little bit of a better value for folks that want to come in and buy a few items, maybe use their $15 in credit. So if you guys have never done one of these whatnot auctions, whether through me or another whatnot uh, auctioneer, um, you know, I personally invite you guys to check it out. But while you're doing that, sign up. I have a referral link down below where you can score yourself $15 in store credit to use directly on your first purchase. You're going to use it right away. It's automatic. You don't have to do anything on your end. So if you're brand new, you're not signed up on the platform and you want to come check it out, that $15 might actually score you some free stuff. Free silver, free type coins, and we got plenty of them. I'm sure there's a number of them in this tray right here that's going to fit in that $15 kind of like threshold for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we have here. And by the way, I'm going to have the link also to the uh, to the show. You can go in there and bookmark it if you already signed up to the platform. Uh, so we have, I believe it's the 1973, and it sure is, uh, Jamaica. This is the last specimen proof coin that I have from these island nations. I had a whole bunch of them. They sold like hotcakes. And ladies and gentlemen, the last final one I have is this 10 cents Jamaica. And that's it. I don't have any more. Uh, these things are gorgeous. They are uh, very well struck and crafted. Uh, very, very beautiful. And this is the last one I have out of those sets. All right. So... Now, that was the only world coin we have. Everything else is U.S. type and silver. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, we have a couple very nice VF Indian heads. These are all problem-free. We have a 1903. So I sold a few of these last week, okay, with great results. People like them. They like nice, pleasing type coins with no problems whatsoever. 1903 with full liberty on there. Very nice one. We also have a 1906 as well. I didn't have an 06 in the last week's stream. I believe I had, see, an 04 and 07, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we have two different dates this time around, 1906, again, with that full Liberty. Very nice detail. Uh, again, you're looking at a solid VF on that one there. Uh, we have a mint error. We have a 1925. Uh, this is a dual mint error, which is what I love about these. Uh, it's a woody, so it's got nice wood grain toning on there. Uh, they call it an improper alloy mix. So the little bit of tin or zinc that they added to this composition didn't quite mix well with the copper. So you're going to get some beautiful wood graining on there. Uh, these are very highly collected uh, by woody collectors. Uh, but also, this one has a strike through right on the front. It could be also a detached lamination. They look very similar. Uh, but very beautiful, again, problem-free coin here. Very nice mint air. And then everything has stock numbers on them, by the way. I'm going to have every single coin uploaded to the uh, to the stream tonight. So after this show, after you guys watch it, most of them should be on there, if not all of them. We have a couple of these uh, beautiful from the same collection uh, that I bought all the other proof coins. Again, these are hot right now. Uh, very nice gem. Uh, bicentennial quarters. I got two different ones. Uh, the second one I'm running uh, shows much better cameo frost than the other one. The other one's still nice. I would say it's probably still deep cameo. I just think the other one looks considerably better. It doesn't have kind of like that little milky white haze. Uh, it's actually not too bad on this one, but this one is just 
more presentable. Any scratches that you see is on the flip and not actually on the coin. The coin is uh, incredibly immaculate. There's a little fuzz hair or something right there. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get dust on these brand new um, two by two flips. Uh, we have a couple more proof nickels. Uh, we have a 1964 here on the left. We have a 1957 with some toning. It looks like this one was uh, made its home in a uh, album uh, to develop some of this nice golden hue along with a little pink in there. Again, very nice coins. So we're going to auction those off separately. Uh, we also have a couple very nice, uh, what I call find a VF, problem-free Buffalo nickels. We have a 1930. I believe this is a Philly. And it is. It has uh, what I consider to be 50% of a horn on the reverse. So that puts us around a fine 15. And then we also have a 1936. This one is a estimate. Uh, this one is VF20. So again, nice, uh, nice VF20 coin right there. Uh, and these were popular last week. So I brought out some more heavy artillery. Silver War nickels are the thing right now for whatever reason. Uh, especially mint state beautiful pieces like this 1943 P right here. All right. And uh, the steps are good, but none of the war nickels I sell here on this platform, especially tomorrow's stream, would I consider to be like undoubtedly full steps. Okay. Uh, so if, if someone buys these and then they go to send them off to PCGS or whatever, a uh, little word caution, I'm not promising that any of them are full steps. Um, so, but they are very nice, very well struck examples. That's the P mint there. And some of them even have a little bit of toning as well. Here's 1944 Philly, beautiful, beautiful white, a little bit of toning on the obverse there as well. We also have a 1945 and I believe this is an S mint and it sure is. The luster is just beaming on every single example that we have. Uh, this, this, uh, all these war nickels came out of my personal collection. So I have a few rolls of these. Uh, and you guys seem to like it. So I'm going to give you guys some more. Here's another 45S. This one is slightly a little bit better than the previous example. I'd probably call this one a gem unk. It's that nice. Um, not too many distracting marks, if any at all. And again, uh, there's a call to action for more 1950D Jefferson Nichols. That's the key date in case you guys forgot. So we got a couple more BU specimens here. These are very, very sexy looking coins. Uh, I handpicked these. This one right here has really nice toning on both sides. You can see a little bit of bronze toning there, a little bit of russet brown on this 50 Denver, uh, and then some more toning right there above the dome in Monticello. It's very subtle, but boy, does it lend a little bit of extra uh, personality to these coins. Uh, we got some really nice premium Buffalo nickels. This is a borderline AU plus to mid-state 1936S. This thing is immaculate. It shows very little in the way of like high wear. Uh, you have quite a bit of luster still remaining on this particular example, but very beautiful San Francisco minted, uh, a little bit more limited than some of the others. Check this one out, 1937 Denver. Woo! This thing is flashy, really nice choice BU example. Beautiful, very well struck, lots of luster. And then we also have this gem right here, 1938 Denver. Got some nice light bronze toning on the reverse. What else can we say? Very beautiful. Uh, sure, a few of them are common dates, but when you get up to the this, this grade level, most folks end up buying graded examples and paying way too much for them. So this is going to be your chance to grab one of these if you need it for a type set or maybe you're putting together a uh, Buffalo nickel set and you want to make that great first impression. Uh, we also have another war nickel, 1945 Philly. This is an RPM. I'll figure out which one it is before tomorrow's stream. But the secondary P mint is what punts, punched west of the primary on this. Again, another beautiful, lustrous example. Very original. Uh, from the Immaculate Proof Collection, we have two absolutely stunning 
bicentennial half dollars. We have this one here, which shows just a very, very clean surfaces, absolutely razor sharp, jet black fields, nice and frosty. And we have that one there. Uh, and we also have uh, some silver. So uh, due to popular demand, more people want silver. Uh, even though the price of silver hasn't really gone anywhere, it's still trading between $23 and $24 an ounce. Uh, so we have two packs, $1 face of 1964 Kennedy's. So this is, uh, I think these are both Phillies. No, that's a Denver, and that's a Denver. So it's a Denver Mint 2 pack. Uh, but for some of you that want one of each, I have two sets of PND Mint. 64 Kennedys. These are 90% silver and they're from BU rolls I've had for a while. Another P&D set of Kennedys there for you. And we also have an old mix here, 1935 Denver Walking Liberty half dollar and also a grungy looking 1923 S. A considerably tougher date. Uh, it's got some uh, some grease or something right there. So a little acetone dip can probably help that one. It does have a few scratches on the obverse, but this is more pitched as kind of like a classic old gold, uh, uh, old silver, um, you know, and then it'll be fit up accordingly to whoever wants this. Again, you know, a couple of very well-worn walking liberties. All right, so we got some, uh, some of the pretty heavy hitting coins uh, to round things off here. We have Let's see, nine coins to wrap it up, and these are stunners. Um, starting out with the first bicentennial, Eisenhower dollar. Uh, this is a rarity right here. So this one is the Type 1 Reverse. So it's got the block letters. Much more tougher than finding the Type 2. Uh, about 20% of the entire mintage of 1976 clad Ike dollars have that type one reverse. So it's kind of a rarity and we have a really nice BU or BU. We have a really nice gem proof example there that should grade pretty high if someone's interested. Uh, we also have a type two. So this has the skinnier letters in comparison. Let me show you both of them here. So the type one is on the left. The type two is on the right. Boom. Very, very pretty. Good looking set there. One person can buy one or the other or both. So, and uh, one of my favorites and a very tough date, 1973 S. Deep cameo, beautiful stunner. We'll have this one available. By far one of the toughest dates that you could find of a proof Ike out there. Very rarely do I come across a nice BU Walking Liberty half dollar, 1943 Philly. We have this one right here. Again, very, very nice, clean example. Lots of luster for days on this one. So you're probably looking at just the, kind of like a BU, Mid-State 63, 64 level coin here. And uh, here's a tough date. 1935 S. About uncirculated. You guys know that the, this is going to be a tougher date and things get pretty pricey when, once you hit AU and this coin and this date and this mint mark, S mint. So you can see the S mint right there. So that's another good looking coin. If someone wants, uh, wants something that's a little bit more presentable in their collection, this is going to be a good one to get. And you're going to save a little bit of money over buying a graded one. We do have a couple Morgans, uh, nothing too crazy here. Uh, this is the 1881O, and uh, I believe this one's been cleaned. So this is a cleaned Morgan dollar, although it's still got plenty of meat on the bones as far as the design and detail. Uh, but yeah, there you go, 1881O, again, cleaned. And we also have 1879. This one just, it just has circulation wear. I would probably say this is a XF condition coin. At most, uh, looks problem free, but all in all, good looking, just regular type example. Or if you're a fan of Morgans and these big silver dollar coins, you know, that's not a bad one to get there. All right, and then the last couple coins. Ooh, I, I'm happy to have these available for tomorrow's show. Again, why buy graded? 
2001 Silver Eagle Toners. I call these, uh, I call these, uh, <laughs> what do I call these? I call these Solar Flare Toning. So I have this one here. I The nickname I gave it is Solar Flare because you have this beautiful iridescent blue with some of the kind of like Solar Flare orange and yellows on the inside. Take a look at the reverse. My goodness. That is a stunner. Again, you don't need to buy these graded. Um, this is natural toning. Uh, this is not artificial. I've had this one for years. Uh, it was actually in a holder uh, since 2001, uh, which that's, the, that's when I obtained it. And not only do I have one, but I have two with a little bit different toning pattern. But check out the color coloration on here. Stunning. It does, doesn't have the toning up here on the top third of the coin. Check out the reverse. Again, another beauty. Radioactive blue with some purple and a little bit of pink in there, some rose. So you got some of that nice blue again on here with some of the, uh, the orange, the dark orange and the yellow gold progression in there. It looks just right. So we got two of those kind of like premium little silver eagles that I'm sure someone will appreciate. And uh, that is the show for June 16th. Uh, again, we're going to go on at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, again, you could always sign up down below in the referral link. Um, but we have a really nice selection from across all budget types and uh, I, hope you guys, I hope to see you guys there. If you see anything that you do like, we're going to have a really nice show. If anything, we get to have great conversation. And then after that, we're going to raid um, Adam Coins Ghouls on there. He's one of the live coin Q&A panel members that is selling on the platform whatnot. He's doing a BU Roll Showcase. So he has these nice BU Rolls of varying dates going all the way back into the 40s and 50s. That he's going to be offering to anyone else uh, who's interested from my stream to go over there. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's make it a Friday to remember. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys again for all your views and support. And you guys have a wonderful evening. See you on Friday.